School grades are now out across Florida. 63% of schools earned an A or a B grade. 15% of schools earned an F. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lashway has been reviewing the data and joins us live outside Lake Forest Elementary School. Zach, that's a school that received an F two years in a row. Joy, that is correct. This school is officially closed and will remain closed. This was decided before grades came out today. Now, there is one other school in Duval County that received an F. That school could likely receive more attention moving forward. Carter G. Woodson in Northwest Jacksonville, officially a failing school in Duval County. The elementary school got a C in 2017. It dropped to a D last year and now an F. There are only two other schools throughout Northeast Florida to receive an F. They are in Putnam and Union Counties. The Florida Department of Education calculates school grades on up to 11 components, including student achievement and learning gains on statewide standardized assessments and high school graduation rate. 21 schools in Duval received a D. We have Lake Forest, which is a school in the Bunker Hill area. I'm very upset that the school got such a low grade and that the children are going to be uprooted and taken away from this community to be bus or to for the parents to drive them to school now and the reason why i'm upset because i feel that the school in the neighborhood makes the difference a d grade also went to two schools in clay two in putnam and one in st john's DCPS plans to close Northwestern Middle School at the end of the 2020 school year, a school that's been struggling for years now. Coming up at 6, we're going to highlight the list of most improved schools throughout the state. Live in Jacksonville, I'm Zach Lashway, Channel 4, the local station. All right, Zach, we'll see you at 6. If you would like to see how your child's school is ranked, you can find a full list of grades inside the story in the education section of newsforjax.com.